Mr. Sanjeev Zudshi, the Chief Executive Officer, Medvarsity Online Limited. No, I'm okay. This is on. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, invariably, I get to speak after lunch, so I hope I have everybody's attention. Uh, Sid did bring us back from uh, education into technology. Sid, that was quite an impressive presentation. Let me attempt to bring the room back into education and medical education because that's the business we are in. I'm here to share with you a brief about what Medvarsity Online is and also to give you a small dovetail on what the current uh, use of information, communications and technology is in the online space. I know I'm limited to nine minutes, so let's move on. We have the red, which denotes past in this image that I have, and green moves on to the present. So if you see in India, the scenario is you have lakhs of practicing doctors and nurses who have not had access to medical education in terms of online space or continuous medical education. India remains home to one of the largest uh, student populations today in the world, and information, communications, and technology in medical education. I like to say it is the beginning of a marvelous journey. Web 2.0 and 3G tools give businesses like us enough scalability and innovation to continue to add. Uh, Sir Muir Gray spoke yesterday about the third paradigm in medical education, and I think that paradigm is where the patient is going to decide what the doctors are going to be doing. Let's look at the online uh, ICT space. It is huge. Internet users now are about 100 million in India, and each time I look at the statistics, it is increasing. The online advertising market today in India is about a thousand crores. YouTube, for example, has about 20 million unique users, and you go on and go forth. 40 million people today in India want to use their mobile handsets to want to log on to the internet. There are, at last counts, about 3,000 startups waiting to enter this space, the online education space, or the online space, rather, in the next three to five years. What are the key challenges that uh, Medvarsity and, and other organizations would have uh, faced in deploying uh, ICT in uh, medical education? There is a traditional method, which is a chalk and talk, and the click and enter. So people resist change. Physicians today are facing patients, and I've been hearing that in the Patient Safety Week, as well as in this current conference, that you have the physician facing a customer or a patient who is more internet savvy, who's been Googling and will have to want to ask you every possible question. We also face a challenge that we need to create awareness for adapting new technologies, and that's where the role of ICT comes in. And of course, finally, to motivate medical students, which are our end users, to be able to use ICT for information, learning, and development. We all know the benefits of e-learning. Let me quickly recap it. Uh, flexibility, adaptively. We've seen a lot of cutting-edge uh, content that uh, Dr. Neera showed us. Interactive it, and it can be teacher-led, it can be student-led, and finally, of course, retention level. Anything that is visual is more easy to retain. And finally, if you've been from Delhi, where I'm reaching tonight, I know what the traffic situation is, so we add that as a point now, as a benefit. Uh, Medvarsity was born in April 2000, and uh, it was the vision of our chairman, Dr. Patab Reddy, who was able to see that this is where the space is going, and, and that vision comes true 11 years ago when you look at the previous slide, when we can actually see what is happening in the online space. We are headquartered in Hyderabad, and we've recently celebrated 10 years. Uh, I'm proud to share with you that in this 10-year journey, Medvarsity has trained over 25,000 medical students, professionals, allied medical professionals, and we have an international student base spanning 46 countries apart from India, which is our main market. And the current proprietary LMS that Medvarsity has supports more than 25 courses for doctors, nurses, and allied medical professionals. Uh, Dr. Reddy, uh, the great visionary, as we know him to be, uh, 11 years ago was able to come up with a very topical mission statement, which is very relevant today as well, which is to be able to deliver relevant information technology, based quality education to the health care providers at any distance and to facilitate cutting-edge research in delivery of medical education. And this is what the key challenges that we have when we go to work every day to make sure that Medvarsity is ready for the next generation. Over the 10-year period, we've acquired partners, and over the next several months, uh, Medvarsity is looking at several more strategic alliances, which you would be reading about. Uh, we have a very good alliance with the RCGP, Royal College of General Physicians, 
where we run diploma in emergency medicine and diploma in family medicine. We've been running these courses now for 10 years, which have been well recognized in the industry and well accepted. We also work closely with the Administrative Course College of India, where we run courses for training CEOs and staffs of TPAs. We've recently signed an MOU with BMJ, and we would be looking at bringing them into India to add further cutting-edge content and courses for the medical fraternity. And finally, Medvarsity is uh, the only person chosen to market the University of Sydney pediatric course here in India. I firmly believe that no amount of technology or no amount of the net or any kind of different technology is going to determine the future of uh, medical education. It will be patience. So I would like to say that there is a paradigm shift. Medvarsity recognizes it, and we are wanting to help the medical practitioner be in that space so that he can face the internet savvy patient. What is the value proposition that Medvarsity brings in? Well, we have our own proprietary learning management service. We have cutting edge content. We have a hybrid model where we give books as well as the learning is done online. We also have experience centers where we conduct touch and feel contact programs at the main Apollo hospitals in the metros and otherwise. We have a robust sales and marketing distribution setup. And of course, we've been in this business for 10 years, and we believe that we are in an inflection point now to grow this business. Medvarsity believes that there is a parallel universe out, and we need to be part of that community. And therefore, Medvarsity is on Blogger, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., all the social media. What could be the way forward in this space? Well, we've seen throughout the IT conference that there is growing popularity of wireless technologies. People want to be able to learn at their pace, at their time, with flexibility. I think we're going to reach a situation where the internet viewing will be as much as the TV or will actually overtake it. And I firmly believe for the next decade will have India as one of the largest internet users in the world. We are the third largest currently. I do believe the handheld devices is the market and recently in India we've seen at least eight or nine handheld manufacturers wanting to come in and sort of launch their products. And finally, I believe the future is it's there, it's knocking on our doors and we need to be ready. We will have smart homes, smart students, and smart devices. And Medvarsity wants to be ready for that space. So could this be possible? Someday we will have someone like this be a student. In the event it happens, Medvarsity will be there. And we can see this robot is longing onto a Medvarsity course. So we are ready for the future. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to address all of you. Thank you so much.